Welcome to this video. My name is Liv and this is Gianni in case you're new here. He is five months old almost <laughs> So this is gonna be just a little video about what I keep in his bedside nursery From when he was a newborn and then now that he's five months old what I keep and this is just my first baby So I'm definitely not a professional at this by any means So first I'm going to show you how I have everything set up right now now that he's almost five months old and sleeping in his own room And then I'll show you like what I had the setup as when he was a newborn and when he was sleeping beside us in our bed But make sure you like this video and subscribe down below if you would like to watch more videos from us Oh <laughs> <laughs> and like I said before, this is my first baby and every baby is different, so this is just what's worked for us so far. But I'm gonna go put him down to play and then I will show you what we use for him. Okay, I'm in Gianni's room now. I have him in the other room playing, so if you hear any noises, it's just him. So I'm gonna show you the setup that we have for him right now. This is what we've been using probably for like the last month and a half. But first here we have his crib. It's just the Ikea crib and I really like it. I did um, this side, well both sides come with um, like a warning label like printed into the wood. And a quick tip is just to sand it off if you don't want it seen. And this is his snuggle me. He does still sleep in his snuggle me. I'm trying to wean him out of it slowly. He doesn't really roll around yet like a ton. He rolls from his stomach to his back sometimes. But we just changed him into a sleep sack instead of a swaddle. This is the sleep sack that he uses. I think it's called the zippity zip maybe. My sister's letting me borrow it, but it just has like pointy arms. But he seems to be doing good in it. He slept until like 10 o'clock this morning in it. So I think he likes it. And then I'm gonna show you like the changing area that we use at night. So this is the little dresser where we have his stuff set up. This is the Kikaroo changing pad. And this is really nice because if he gets pee on it, it's so easy to just like wipe it off instead of like having to change and like wash any covers for it. And then we use this diffuser for him at night. And I usually diffuse either um, this like sleepy eyes, it's one of the kid, um, kid line for young living, or some lavender. And then this is the baby monitor that we use. It's the Infant Optics uh, DXR, I think it's called. And then most of the stuff that we use for like nursery stuff is all in the top drawer, so it's really easy to get to. So we have um, his diapers and wipes just right here. And then if there's anything that he would need, like this is all in here. Um, he doesn't really like need much stuff in the middle of the night though. Okay, and then the next thing we use is this rocking chair. It's just in this corner of his room and we got it as a gift for his baby shower and some of Christmas. And then we also have his um, sound machine beside it there and then I keep a passy. I just use this tote as like a little side table. But it's really nice for feeding him in in the middle of the night because I can just get him out of his bed and then sit in here right away. I don't have to take him into another room. But I also would recommend like having a blanket close by because in the middle of the night it's nice to be able to cover up with a blanket. I guess another thing is I keep like the blanket out and a burp cloth. That way it's all like right on the chair so I just have to grab them and then I can sit down and everything's already right here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you our room. There's not really much to it um, for right now that he's five months old. The only thing is that we keep um, his baby monitor beside her bed. Okay, now I'm gonna show you like the um, table, like the changing area that we had set up. This we used probably until he was like a month old and he was getting a little fussy outside, out there. So I just have him on this table, but I am gonna be right beside him this whole time. So we have this table, it's like right underneath our TV. And um, I would just put the changing pad on it. And then in this little caddy, I kept, well, first of all, I can't remember the name of this company, but I will pop it up on the screen. And then I'll also link this caddy down below, but that's their logo. Um, but I love this caddy so much, this little diaper caddy. And I would keep diapers and wipes in this pouch. And then I'd always keep extra pajamas in onesies here. And then I would also keep an extra swaddle in case he like wet through. And then extra burp cloth. We would just keep some lotion in here. And then uh, diaper cream. This is an extra grape water. And um, some little gas relief drops. Thermometer. If we needed it for anything, we really didn't. This little um, like ball syringe thingy. And then um, nail clippers in a little file. But we didn't really use any of this much in the night, but I just kept it here in case we needed something. And then I also used this, I used the diffuser here, but I only used it for the night light, because um, it does light up, so that 
that way I could like see when I was getting out of bed and everything. And then I also used this night light. And then I would also keep a water bottle and some snacks by me in the middle of the night, just in case if I got hungry while I was feeding him, I had it all right beside me. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the bassinet that we used. I moved Gianni down to the floor too, in case you were wondering. Oh, there he is. That way I don't have to worry about him up on the table. But I really liked this bassinet. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Well, I would recommend it and not recommend it, but I'll tell you why. So the first thing I would recommend is that it um, was right level with the bed. So this made it really easy to get them in and out of the bed. And then I also liked on the side pouches, it was nice to keep stuff in. Once I started changing them in bed, I would just keep the diapers in here actually and some burp cloths. But this is just like an extra like mattress pad or like waterproof pad. And then on this side, um, this is an extra like changing pad. And it does have straps that connect it like underneath the bed. And the thing that I wouldn't recommend about it was that the mattress was really hard. Um, so we did, since he was sleeping in his snuggle me, I did like keep some like extra cushion underneath him. Um, and then the snuggle me was on top because that way I knew like with him being in the snuggle me He couldn't get like caught up in the extra cushions and then this is the cushion that it comes with It's just like a piece of like foam it feels like and then this is like the hard um, It's like a board that is underneath it. It's because the bottom underneath this board is like a fabric So that just gives it the support um, And yeah, this cushion was not very thick and I know there's a bunch of other bassinets that are like basically exactly like this. So I don't know if maybe like a different brand might be more comfortable. Um, or you might be able to, like for our next babies, I would look into getting like a, a different like mattress to put in there. And then I just want to show you what it looks like beside the bed. So this, is, you can see, it's like the same exact level to the bar. And then the actual bed itself is like a little bit lower. That way they can't like roll right out onto the bed. The only issue that I had with it was the mattress. And I know baby mattresses are supposed to be firm, just like for safety reasons, but this was like super hard. And this is what it looks like with the side up. So if you're not using it against a bed, you can always put the side up and then they can be in the middle of the room with it. And that was everything I think that I wanted to talk about for the bedside nursery and just different things we use for nap time and bedtime. I'd probably say my main tip is to keep extra things by you in the night, um, like extra pajamas and burp cloths, swaddles, and like if you have enough room, like some sheets or anything like that. That way you're not running around in the middle of the night trying to find extra things if the baby wets through. But I think that's all I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions, make sure you comment them down below and I will try to help. This is only my first baby, so I'm definitely not a professional, but that's just what I've learned from having him. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and we will see you in the next video. Bye.